how do you prepare for it? I think we're already mentally prepared for it. You know what time it's going to be, and everything you're working with. And after a while, you can feel beautiful with everyone that's around. You know what time it's going to be, and how do you see it? I know you have to go there in the morning. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. Sonny, this is for Robin Leach, VegasDeluxe.com. How are you? I'm doing awesome here at the AEE AVNs of 2014. Yeah, baby. How many yeah. times have you been here? <laughs> I've actually been to the AVNs now for nine years. Been in the business nine years. I've been here for nine years. I've been nominated for over 50 something awards. I've been nominated every year for actress. I'm an independent in this industry, so I'm not a contract star, but I consider myself as one. <laughs> what have you done with your awards that you have won? So, what have I done with my awards that I've won? Well, I actually have 15 awards in total from AVN to all other uh, award shows as well. And I actually have them up on my mantle. So some of them have like stars on top and you can see your face in front of them. And then some of them you can see through them. I like to pick them up and hold them in my hands and know that, you know, I really worked really hard to accomplish all these, uh, to get recognized the way I do and get accomplished the way I do. So I really take appreciation into them. Is there one award that stands out for you that you, you, you're so happy about that? Uh... You know, I, I would have to say the best award that stands out for me is my first AVN. It's called For Goo Girls 28, and it was for uh, Rodney Moore. Rodney Moore. It was super sexy and very hot. It's a POV movie, which is my favorite. I'm a horny horticulturalist. Alright, I'm going to be all over the place with these questions. How do you like living in Las Vegas? Now, you've been here, what, a couple of years now? Or how, how long know, has it been? I've only lived in Vegas now for four months. It is only four months. I thought it was longer. You know, I've been coming and going. I would come here about maybe five to six times a year, and I just decided I should move up here from L.A. Now, how's the past year been for you since the last uh, AVNA? Well, you know, the last uh, AVN of 2013, that was my comeback, and I was so happy and thrilled to be back, and the fans just had so warm welcoming for me. I've shot two movies since then, Stripper 2, which is nominated for Best Actress, Best Teen, Tease, and Boy Girl Scene. Um, also, I shot Love Boat Triple X, where I played Julie McCoy. I'm the hostess with the mostest. Come on my boat and let's get it a rockin', baby. That one's nominated at X-Biz, which is next week. So I've done two movies, worked on my website, SunnyLaneLive.com. I've also been working on my VOD site, SunnyLaneVOD.com, where you get your minute per minute. And then I've also been dancing at Hustler and Sapphires. And guess what? You can also see me at the Bunny Ranch as well. So you're back with the Bunny Ranch. I sure am. I, I you know, I, I look at it like this. I do a little bit of everything, different ways that people could come and experience me and get to be up close and personal with me and I also feed my soul too at the same time so, so a lot of fun. your fans have they been up to the bunny ranch have they visited you like specifically just for you they came to the bunny ranch and said where's where's Sunny Lane yeah have oh, you had that a my lot gosh. you know being at the bunny ranch is such a wonderful experience I've had so many fans come and see me from here from if they've seen me on tour or you know just from the movies they make their appointments with me they set up their date i ask them a certain questions q a and i get it all set up so when they come in we're both prepared to have some fun and make some memories any females uh, i've had females i've had males i've had a lot of couples wow um the majority of my fans here you know that haven't got to see me yet they are just so ecstatic that i'm back up there to be able to come take a stroll down my lane that's great uh uh, I think we're going to have to continue this in another location. Uh, what do you think? I don't know. Can you still see me? Oh, wait. I, I can't. Oh, now I can see you. The lights came okay. back on. Will the porn industry ever move to Vegas you know because what, of Measure B? I know this is a topic. You know what they're trying to do? They're trying to kick Ron and I out because we're always the last at the conventions. No matter what, we're always the last two at the conventions. So that's what they're trying to do. That's but hello, Ron Jeremy. He's the face of the industry. Okay. If you could have sex with any person or celebrity, who and why? If I could have sex with any porn star or celebrity, well, I practically have fucked everybody in the business, which is awesome. Oh, wait, it's a virgin of Jameson. She would be fun. And why? Uh, and I would have to say, well, Jenna Jameson, because she's the one that paved the path for me to get to where I am today, so I would love to pay homage just by licking her box the right way. <laughs> and then I would have to say a celebrity. Really? Because I would love for him 
to stick his long, juicy fingers deep inside me. I don't know if I can even talk like that in this interview, can I? <laughs> um, but yeah, him, Charlie Sheen, eh, I already know him. <laughs> What's the dirtiest thing you've ever done in front of a camera? Being not so specific. The dirt, right? Yeah, that's how I was wondering how specific I could be. Um, the dirtiest thing that I've done, well, of course you gotta see my big wet ass is 13. That's my best anal movie for 2009. I won the award here at AEAPN, and it's featured in the new mainstream movie Don John, when he's asking the whole hook of the movie, which is better, porn stars or real life chicks? I say porn stars. Have you ever filmed in Las Vegas? Have I ever filmed in Las Vegas? Absolutely, yes. I've shot out here numerous times for browsers. Any advice for males or females getting into the porn industry? The advice that I have for females getting into the adult industry is that this is a business that will stick with you for the rest of your life. You have to understand the commitment and the hard work that you do have to put into it to be a big star. It's not easy, and a lot of people think that it is. To have the name of the brand that I've created with my family, I've actually done it, and it hasn't been easy. So know that this is what you want to do. Know it will be with you for the rest of your life, and have fun with it. But also protect yourself when you're having sex out there in the real world. So when you come and have sex with us in the business, you're all clean. Do you have people ask you about sex advice? Yes, I have numerous people ask me about sex advice all the time. From men to women, I'm actually in school to be a loveologist, sexologist, which I'm very excited about to educate people around the world. Do you remember your first porn shoot? Yes, I absolutely remember my first adult shoot. It was actually for a new sensation called POV Fantasies. I was in a cowgirl outfit with cowgirl boots, a baguette with bread, and I had a picnic set up for my man. He comes in, he starts fucking me, POV style, so intense, spanking me with the bread, puts the bread in my mouth, and I eat it as he's doing me doggy style. It was so intense. I fucked him so good that he asked me if I could pee on camera. Oh my god. And I did it over this glass table and I said if I could pee on camera, I can do anything. What is the future of the porn industry and yourself? What is your future? Good question. The future of the porn industry. Well, Ron Jeremy just walked by. He's the past, the present, and the future. And, uh, you know, I'm very thankful for all the legends that have paid the path to, for where I am today. The industry has changed so much just in the nine years that I've been in it, and I've taken a little hiatus. And now that I've come back, you know, I have to say it's gotten smaller. The big companies and the real legit people are still here and staying around. The people that have the passion for the business are still here. It's weeded out all the riffraff people, as I say. Um, unfortunately, the internet has taken over with, pri with piracy, and I wish we would be able to stop that, so then that's destroying the in industry as a whole and the $13 billion that it makes a year. So I believe that if we could change that, it would be better. Uh, the industry as a whole, from the talent to the companies, are all standing up together and being there hand to hand. I only shot two movies this past year because of all the disease and the things that happened that we had to um, go on hiatus for, and uh, safety is number one. You know, we got to protect ourselves. So how much longer do you see yourself continuing doing this? How much longer do I see myself doing this? I mean, you look at Nina. Nina's been here, what, 30, 40 years? Yeah. She's been doing it? Nina's my mentor, you know, she showed me so much. She said, out of all the girls, I'm the only one that has listened to her. And, Can you, know, you see I, yourself? I admire myself after her career and Ronnie's career. And, you know, I see them really able to thrive and prosper and be able to have that voice and be out there to the world and still be an entertainer where that feeds their soul. So I have always considered myself to be a lifer. Have you ever thought about doing like a reality show, somebody following you around? and uh, seeing your day, daily life away from the porn industry and getting ready for the Have you thought about that? Has anyone ever approached you? You know about the reality television show? I've had actually people uh, approach me on three different occasions after ABC Primetime back in 2007 when I did the Outsider shows with John Quinones and my parents and I were featured on there. So yes, we've had numerous shows come to us, um, but it just wasn't the right fit. You know, I didn't want to put my family out there Yes, this stays with me for the rest of my life. Exactly. And it's my family, and they're 
number one in my life, and I don't want anything to break us up. So um, that's just, we you, just haven't gone that route. You've been in Penthouse, haven't you? I've you? been in Penthouse. I've been in Hustler. I've been in Club International. I've been in Playboy Magazine. You, when were you in Playboy Magazine? 2007 for the Women of Playboy Television. I was actually found okay. by Playboy um, back in 2005 at the AVN. So that's how I got started in the business with Julie Ashton and Tiffany Granite on Night Calls. Well, uh, Sonny, I mean, you've been great. We all love you. Thank you so much for this interview and continued success. And I know you, is there anything else you want to promote? Thank you so much. I love my fans. They mean everything to me. I took that break and when I've come back, my fans have really been there as legions, which is so strong in the support and the love. And oh, thank you, thank you, thank you to all Great. my fans. Oh yeah, and check me out on People Magazine of Australia. Where can we get that? Oh yeah, and guess what? You can see me at the Bunny Ranch and I can do phone sex and you know, you can see me on your television. Do you do TV. Instagram? I do Instagram. Okay. I do Comagram. Really? Is it, I never heard of that. Absolutely. Are you serious? Is it I Comagram? Do. Of course. Come to the Bunny Ranch. Get your Comagram. Awesome. Thank you again so much. Um, and hopefully you win. Oh, yeah. I love her. I'll see, actress. I'll see you on the red carpet. You already got what you're going to wear? Oh, definitely. I have my dress all picked out and ready. It was a lot of money and it's a custom outfit. The shoes are custom. It's going to be gorgeous. My date is Erica McLean, who shot Alice in Wonderland and Flying. I remember that. So she's going to be my date and we're just going to have a blast. I'm very excited to be here again. Hot Movies is the best for bringing me back and having me as their woman. And Ron Jeremy, just thank you. And what about this gentleman here? Oh, is that's anything, you, anything else you want to say about him? That's California Slim. I'm so thankful for that man. He's been with me since day one. Nine years he's been holding it down on that's my Deja Vu tour. I'm their first ever contract feature star, so I travel around the country. I did nine shows a weekend where the, the girls in the industry that are doing features now are a whole different ballgame. They're, they look like strippers to me. When I actually did my shows with Deja Vu, Slim would get on the mic, he would hold the camera, he would watch me do my show, then we would get the guys up on stage, do cooter ball, and we'd rip their shirts off, spray them down with whipped cream, whoever knows how else, and put on a hot, hot show. I mean, the guys would stay not just for one show, but for all three shows a night. So where'd you guys meet? How'd you guys get together? We actually met in uh, LA at North Hollywood Deja Vu. He was the DJ there. And I was like, man, this guy is awesome. I come from Tampa, Florida Deja Vu. I know you're from Tampa. Showgirl of the Year for 2004. Yeah. And so I, when I went to LA, I went straight out to Deja Vu as well. I met Slim. He always kept me laughing, kept the energy going with me back in the back room. And I was like, man, this guy knows what he's doing. He knows music too. He's one that edited all my music together for me. We chose the music together. We had the costumes. He's seen me practice it. We broke it down together. We like, we're the SNX Express team. That's just exactly what we do. And so I'm so thankful for this man. That's great. And now he's here with me holding it down, getting the video for the bit behind the scenes for everybody to have it on my website. Should we show everybody what California Slim looks like? <laughs> Should we? Sure. There I am. What's up? There he is. Is there anything you want to promote? Anything else you want to say about Sonny? I'm here for Sonny Lane. I'm here for Sonny Lane. I'm the star in the game. I'm here for a reason. He's a superstar. Uh, he has the, the longest best. lines yes. all the time. The longest, most consistent lines of any star here. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. That's it's true. only day two. Just getting started. That's what we do. SNS Express. He says nothing less. Well, thank you again, Sonny. Take yeah, care. Yeah, I'm blushing. I can feel the love. I love you guys. And Robin, I love you too, baby. Great.